Hoo hoo hoo! Welcome back to Black Myth Wukong. Still rocking it. Still having a good time. Who knows? May change. We're coming to one of the most difficult boss battles that I have fought. I think I struggled more with this one than I did the final boss in this level. And uh, I believe it did take a while in order to beat him. You're about to see. I haven't seen it yet. I've, I've lived it a few weeks ago, but uh, I'm coming back and, and watching it again. I do remember struggling with this guy. I do remember it taking a while, but I still remember having fun doing it the entire time too. Like I didn't get frustrated. I didn't get irritated. I was like, I'll, I'll learn how to do this. I'll figure out how to beat this guy. We just gotta learn its patterns. What's he doing? Where's he going? How does this work? But yeah. So without further ado, let's get into some Black Myth Wukong. Any water in here? Person sitting on top of a ball? Is it one of those yoga balls? Black Wind King. Grant them eternal reap. It's good for you. Can we target this guy? There we go. Hey, welcome back. Ooh. Oh, I like that. It's gonna be fun to fight. Hey, I'm back. Hope you went wait long. Ooh, that burnt. Oh, oh, oh. 
get so many combo moves. Stab my healing. Yep. And I dodge while drinking. dodge in time. I do like fighting this guy though. I'm enjoying it. Let's go back into the fight. Hello, I'm back. <laughs> Dodge in time. Ooh, that one got me. You step like that. Come on. Come on, dodge. Why were you not dodging? 
You were moving like you were dodging, but you were just getting all hit. I believe this is the one. Actually, hang on a second. I mean, before we start. Just gonna go back over here real quick. Switch up my brew. And have this one instead. Because he doesn't poison us. Okay, I'm here. Ow. Who's gonna block that? I still managed to twist and do that attack. on that one. Oh, 
Jeez. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah! Eat it. Pooh. That should be better on that one. Just duplicate myself. Cloud step disappearing into mist allows for an escape. Provides an opportunity to execute an unveiling strike. It's a spell. Oh, that's what it does. Use me there. I'm in. Do an attack. What's in here? A gate jar. Curious. Hey, look, three bells. What does the gate jar do? Moderately increases defense. Slight increase to critical hit chance. I do that. And we can advance one. Without stepping. Each talent level consumed increase the maximum health of the decoy. Slightly increase movement speed in cloud step. Each talent level slightly increases the critical hit chance of unveiling strike, which stacks per second while in cloud step. This effect can stack up to ten times. Let's do that one. Is there like another bell I was supposed to strike that I missed? Awaken wise worm material. All right, I think I'm going to back and use that shrine and heal and get my jar all back before we advance further. I actually think this is where I am going to stop. So yeah, that has been Black Myth Wukong. I uh, enjoyed the game quite a bit. I like the combat system in it. I'm really having fun with the combat in it. And usually like with Souls-like... Uh, dying and fighting the same creatures over and over again or getting to the area that you need to be over and over again is like, I don't want to fight this thing again. 
Whereas in this, like, I'm just more and more interested to continue fighting things. I really enjoy the combat style in here and learning the moves and being able to dodge and just with how quick everything goes. I really like it. Um, story base wise, I'm not really following too much into the story that they're telling here. I get the, the gist of it where Sun Wong Kong fought and was defeated and his six relics scattered and now uh destined ones the other types of wukongs are going out there looking for the relics to revive him but as for why they're reviving him don't really know we're going through the forest and fighting these different creatures but why are they is it just because they're there is there a reason we're targeting these specific people? Is it just unlucky chance that we happen to run into them? So that's also something I'm curious about. Uh, we're learning and getting stronger. Is that in order to get the relics? Or are we supposed to be ones to replace Soon Wung Kong? Because I thought we were going to get the relics. So is the gathering of strength to replace Soon Wung Kong or to be strong enough to get relics or just to fight other creatures i i don't know so the, the reason of us gathering our strength seems to be off story wise but like i combat wise and game mechanic wise i get it uh other than that like two big thumbs up great game really enjoyed playing it really looking forward to playing even more of it anyways thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next game of Black Myth Kong. Bye.